Hi, and I'd like to welcome you back to my blog this week at joesice.com. Today I want to tell you about a dear friend that I met at Weezer in 1975. Uh, it turned out to be a dear friend of mine, and his name was Dick Horton. He was a left-handed fiddle player. And I kind of ran across him accidentally because I was down at the Colonial Motel. And if you've been to Weezer, you know the, a little of the history. If you've been there for, uh, you know, very many years, the history of that, that motel, for years, that's where they put the judges up. Uh, when they were doing the, the five judge uh, system with the one extra judge, they would all stay there. And uh, most of the champion fiddle players were kind of hanging out down there and had rooms there out on the grass on the patio fiddling. And so I heard Benny Thomason was in town and, and I hadn't met him yet. And so I went looking for him. And I'll tell you a story about, about Benny. Benny would hunt fiddle players down too. I've got a really good story about that. Uh, but anyway, I went down to the Colonial Motel searching Benny Thomason out, and I would, I would walk down the sidewalk there in front of the rooms, and I'd listen, I'd hear fiddling. You could have, hear fiddling coming out of every one of those rooms, and I came to this one room, and, and I thought it was Benny Thomason, because if it wasn't, boy, it sure sounded like Benny Thomason. And so I thought, well, this is it, and I'm, I've been waiting a long time to meet him, so I, I knocked on the door, and a guy opened it up just a little bit, and his name was Ralph McGraw, I found out later. He was from Oklahoma. Uh, he was a, a lifelong rhythm guitar player for Herman Johnson. And uh, he just said to me, he says, we don't want any. And I, I don't know what he thought I was selling, but he was just kidding. And, and fortunate for me, he opened the door and he let me up in there. And I looked and I did not see Benny Thomas anywhere, but I saw this, this gentleman from Oklahoma left-handed holding his fiddle. And... and uh, I told him, I said, asked him, I said, is Benny Thomason in this motel room? And they said, no. And I said, I swore I heard Benny Thomason's fiddling in here. And old Dick Horton got all puffed up, and he said, that was me playing the fiddle. And he said, you think I sound like Benny Thomason? And I said, you sound like Benny Thomason to me. And we were friends forever after that. He was so excited to think I thought he sounded like Benny Thomason. And I learned a lot of fiddling from Dick Horton as I got to know him over the years. He had spent a lot of time with Benny Thomason. And he definitely played in the fashion after Benny Thompson. Just a just a dear man, and uh, and I miss Dick a lot. He was a great fiddle player and a great friend. So, anyway, come back and visit my blog next week.